I mean, he has to know something's up. And they're going to have to look real hard to find him. Yep, he just was spotted. He's going to... Oh, he TP! No, he stopped his TP! Stopped his TP, knew the hook was going to connect, tried to back out. And that's a gigantic pickoff. He may have to buy back. He might have to buy back. Does he have it? He doesn't. He doesn't have buyback. And e or Liquid's going to be able to push off of this for 60 seconds. They need to get up this lane quickly. EG already pushing out on their own right. They're going to have to withdraw most likely. Yep, there you go. TPs are coming out. And Bambo lingered a little bit in that bottom lane. That's what I was talking about. It was so quiet. And it's, you know, you could see the moment it dawned on him to hang on. This isn't safe. He backed out. But the well-placed rocket flare from Bulba spotted him out. He was TPing away. Had to cancel because he knew the hook was going to connect if he didn't. And here we go. He's down for 30 seconds. They're going to be looking for a big RP. They're going to have to have it. What did Rubik get? Rubik got refraction. Not a bad spell to have. And, each, and TL is actually just going to fall back for Roshan. Not feeling comfortable cracking the Tier 3 right now. Uh, this worries me. I'm not going to lie. That was a big pick. They need to make something happen off of it. Roche timer just on its way down now. Happy New Year. As Roshan respawns. And now Liquid making their way down as well. I'll tell you, it takes a lot of leadership and a lot of patience and discipline to do what they just did. Big pick at the Tier 3. Could have taken a fight. But they knew that if they take that fight and lose it, and that's exactly why they pulled back. They try to take that fight and they lose... Top tower. It's a free Roshan for EG, and for, more importantly, for J.O. So the fact that, I mean, again, just so much discipline and so much self-awareness of, you know, we could look to take a Rax here, but if we screw this up, it might be the game for us. And Liquid playing it safe. 21-15, to 15, they nonetheless got a good kill. And now Roshan likely to be the major point of contention. As both teams are really romancing their way around this Roche pit. Back and forth across the river, neither committing too much or too little. Mike is going to lead the charge around the ridge. And Liquid, this is a dangerous position to be in. This is one of the scarier places to be if you're Bulba and Korok. And Bambo is up there. We're going to see both teams basically in a semicircle around this Roche pit. This is where... You have a little bit of an advantage if you're on the dire side. Just a little bit safer for you to be in position. And we're going to see EG go for the Okie Doke. They smoke up. And trying to find the target on the south side. J.O. is split pushing. And yeah, Liquid's doing the same thing just without smoke. They're going to run into each other. They're going to run into each other right near this secret shop. In the meantime, Korok's in there chopping wood. And here we go. They're going to be spotted, but the Gale splits the wickets. They dodged it, whether intentionally or just by luck. It went right between them. They broke in the perfect position. Now we're going to have Bulba. Throws a hook. No, he actually thought about it. Now he's just going to drop the cogs. Off goes the Poison Nova. Here comes the counter engagement. J.O.'s there. Bulba's going to end up cleaning one up. It might going to be cleaned up in return. In the meantime, the rest of them have gone into the Roche pit. And Korok still going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Demon. Korok will be able to make it away. And Demon skewers out of position. Ends up dropping on the high ground, though. TC got it. TC got the Aegis. Sheo wants to re-engage. Korok's there trying to survive by a refraction. Finally, he's picked up by Fear and by Sheo. But with all the illusions, the, the Eclipse not doing enough. However, the Satanic recently completed on TC. Allows him to heal through it. Now the turnaround. And Fear stole Eclipse and turned it around. They get the Aegis. That's a full five-man wipe. So the Aegis goes into the pocket of Liquid, but immediately popped off by EG Fear, stealing Eclipse and saving it for the right time. And that's actually a win for EG, a pretty big one at that. Being able to get that Aegis off because now Liquid is going to feel a lot of pressure to just push and go for it. The gold is still well in their favor. The experience still well in their favor. Net worth, Luna still on top, and we just saw the strength of that Satanic. She's got a Yasha in the inventory as well, 3,800 gold in the bank. But we just saw the problems. That if, and, you know, J.O. has not been doing a lot of fighting this match. He just hasn't. But we just saw why, even though they are behind, why it is such a problem for this liquid lineup. TA and Refraction, not a problem against J.O. Luna, 
as much as she can heal up, she's only going to have that satanic once. She's actually... Huh. What are, is she going to get an MKB? Looks like... I don't know, actually. We'll see. But, um... But, yeah. Refraction on Korok, not a problem whenever you have a Phantom Lancer around. Luna, as quick as she can melt those illusions, now the J.O.'s so farmed and so tanked up, and he's even added a Talisman of Evasion, so he's going to be looking to grab a Butterfly. Going to be problematic. They need a big pick. That's what it's coming down to. They're going to need a big play. They still have the lead, but it's not a very comfortable lead, I can tell you that. Can guarantee it. Demon with a BKB, we saw that showed off. And we can see EG's posture is so different now. Playing out near the center of the map. Not even worrying about it. Just saw the cogs go down trying to slow this down a little bit. Doesn't really matter. And now the cat barks at the dog as EG crossing the river and looking to be aggressive as five. Tier two going to be the target. The last remaining outer tier tower for Team Liquid. They need a play. And there's the hook. They're going to go for it. They caught J.O. Bulba's looking. No, he couldn't get the cogs off on Demon. Oh, he drops him, but doesn't get anything but illusions. Now they're going to try to re-engage. We're seeing Fluff eating damage from Bambo. There's an impale. It hits J.R.P. Going to be spent on Korok. And here comes the Eclipse, but it's a day late and a dollar short. They needed a play, and Bulba went for it. But it just wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. E.G. Who had slumbered. Almost all game. Quietly farming. Able to get the plays when they needed them. Able to prevent Roshan and the Aegis from making it safely back to the Radiant side. Getting it just as DC picks it up. And now, grouping and pushing. And making this composition work. One set of racks is down. They're going to rotate to bottom. GG's are likely to come out soon. Buybacks are not available. None for TC, none for TA. Not for Korok, I should say. And with a Phantom Lancer this far farmed, I don't know what they can do. And this is kind of, this was my worry from the beginning. They, they showed some aggressive tendencies a number of times, but in the end, I felt like they really let off the gas a bit too much. We're going to see Fluff re-engage, but even look at that. I mean, the damage output even from Fluff's ulti just isn't that impressive anymore. There's a hook that's going to re-engage on the JL. And Mulk. Mulk, that's his name now, Milk, will eventually be cleaned up. Re-engaging on the J.O., can they get him? J.O. just so damn tanky. In the meantime, we see Lena dropping. Telekinesis from Fear, now there's a follow-up hook, but there's a skewer that catches the whole team. BKB's up on Demon. They do manage to clean up J.O. in the meantime. And they're going to end up feeding a few back. J.O. buys back just for safety's sake. But with two sets of racks down and a naked set of, of top racks, Liquid gonna have to... They're hoping for a miracle, basically. Bulba did complete his ag, so he has his hook up and ready at any given point. We can see Korok has gone 100% pure damage with an MKB and a Daedalus now. Fear with mobility out the yin-yang. He's got a dagger as well as a force staff. Bambo, pretty much sitting on what he had a long time ago, but he's got buyback. And Demon, same thing. They're going to have to try to do this without Fluff. And again, they are hoping for a lot here. I don't think they can do anything. The best they can hope for is, is turtling out Roshan, I think. TC's tanked up. Net worth, he's still ahead. But Phantom Lance are just the mechanics of the hero. Making this very difficult on Liquid. Fluff is back up. He is... Actually, under cover of smoke and moving his way up slowly. Here we go. BKB going to be popped. They're going to grab TC. And off goes the Poison Nova as well. They're going to try to re-engage. TC pops his satanic. He's trying to heal through it. J.O. is down to half health. If they can get J.O., this could be the turnaround. J.O. four step, but no, he stutter steps and turns around. Can Korok catch him? Korok's going to dive him. Korok will get him. That's a triple kill for Korok. He's going to clean up Demon as well. And Liquid. Hoping for a miracle. May have just found it! Oh my goodness! EG! What happened? They're buyback from Brood, but it's not gonna matter! It's just not gonna matter! Liquid had to have a miracle and they found it! Everyone's down, and the Ancient goes down! 
Down goes EG! Down goes EG! As Team Liquid finds a win in the darkest of night. Having lost two racks, pushing out in desperation and engaging with four. Shocked and stunned. But Liquid digging deep and finds a way to win in game number two. Make it two to nothing. They get their revenge. And the task EG set out to accomplish to defeat Liquid in three consecutive meetings had not been done in 2013. Will not be done in 2013 if Liquid has anything to say about it. Thanks so much for being a part of the broadcast, guys. An insane game two and Liquid advances. EG takes their exit from the G1 Champions League. Taking a look at our bracket. This is courtesy of Gosu Gamers, by the way. We can see Liquid now advances themselves into the lower bracket.